Hey guys, short update video. I've uh, swapped the panels out and I've uh, now fitted two identical panels that I managed to pick up pretty cheap, uh, £45 each, which for 100 watt panels, not bad. Um, unfortunately, they're slightly different dimensions, so I've had to move the mountains back a bit, um, which is just basically a wooden button at the top and bottom. So I've kept the top one the same and just moved the bottom one down. And it's worked out okay, I think. Um, I'm a bit short, but all I've done is I just picked up some cheap angle brackets, um, drilled a hole through the metal frame and in the panel, um, and just put some bolts in, a little nut on the other side, and just screwed it in here. Um, and what I've done is I've just made sure I've drilled straight into the buttons. These fixed out pretty securely. Um, I've brought the cables out in the centre here rather than the edge. I had originally put some glands on here um, which to be honest were a great idea makes it waterproof but then and they are fairly sturdy but I couldn't fix on the other side anyway um, because they're designed to go on a thin material but actually they are fairly secure so maybe I can use them for the future but um, yeah both sets of panels come out here um, and then I'll show you the inside So, what I've done here, we've got the four panels that come in. Now, the reason I like doing it this way is that you can um, put them in series. So, I've got the positive and negative one the panels connected together, um, and then these two cables coming out. So, that's given us um, roughly 24 volts, you know, when it's getting MPPT. Um, but, if need be, we can use these and parallel them up um, to keep them in 12 volt, and then that'll give us extra. Um, and then basically, I kind of hide these around here. Needs a more permanent solution, but comes here. I've got the panel mounted on the wall, and I've got the seven battery packs all done. Um, I've completely ripped off um, Paul Kennett's design. I will make absolutely no qualms about that. Um, and it's fantastic, really modular, it's great, you can swap the packs in and out um, and pick up some din rail and use these din rail mount, it's absolutely brilliant um, I've also went down to the level of picking using the DuPont style connectors um, and the reason I've done this the same is that it's great, you can just plug in the BMS, well I'd say BMS but a, a monitoring cable um, just to check how in sync the pack is. I'll try and okay. I'm just gonna apologies. Just gonna okay. See how the peak there. So ah, it's not showing the full pack because one cable has went awry, um, which is here. So if I can manually put that on, um, and that was due to my stupidity because what I've done is. The cables I've kind of soldered on, and being foolish, I didn't put any tape or shrink wrap on. In this particular cable, it shorted out. So we're pulling in about 28. Um, it's got 28.49 volts there. Pack showing about 85%. Um, if I go to mode, you can see the pack is 0.088 volts out of sync. So that's pretty good. Um, apologies for the. Thing. so yeah that's better so yeah so the lowest is uh, 4.1 31 volts um, sorry that was the max the minimums 4.044 um, yeah so I've got no idea what that first figure was actually the max is 4.129 um, minimums 4.044 28.48 in total um, yeah it's fantastic and it's just a shame that it's actually sunny for once but um, battery's full and it's not being used at the moment the only big bummer is the fact that it's 24 volt the system um, so I've kind of might be hard to see but uh, there's a small little um, DC DC converter which is not great um, I wonder if I actually turn the load on not going to light up because it's a yep, 
Maybe I'll pull the cable out. But yeah, that's just a small 75 watt DC to DC adapter. Um, and the only thing that's hooked up is one single light at the moment, um, which is a 20 watt LED. There is another two at the bottom of the garden, um, but that's kind of it for now. Um, just until I get things sorted. Um, just kind of playing about. And just a small update, but this is the box that I created, which is the RS-485 to Wi-Fi adapter, and that's working absolutely fantastic. Um, and it's great, you know, it allows me to just check them all and everything's uh, chapping. Just uh, lastly, I'd, uh, this is where I put the, the panel that I originally had on the roof of the, uh, the shed. Um, I've taken it down, at the moment it's not actually hooked up to anything. Um, but this was actually bought with the exact intention of going in here originally um, and so that I can still open the lid up um, and this will just move and then it's just to have some storage in there um, so I might still do that plan um, even though I've got the bigger battery pack um, so we'll just see how it goes